Before you install WordPress, it's a great idea to back up your existing website so that you don't overwrite it or delete it on accident and so that you have a record of what you've been playing around with. Even if you're going to throw it away, it's useful to use your old sites and old pages as kind of a reference. So the way to back up your website is by logging into your site with an FTP client. So you need to use a full-on FTP client, not just uh, like a shift edit or some other online editor. You need to be able to do the full uh, whole thing. So before you install WordPress, it's really important that you back up your existing site because there's a high chance of you losing it. Um, even if you don't think that you care that much about your site, it's nice to have a backup of it so that if you want to remember how you did something, you can look at your old pages that you made and remember kind of like as a reference how you did it. So go ahead and open up your FTP editor, your, uh, your FTP client. Now this is going to be FileZilla or Cyberduck or something like that. Don't try and use Shift Edit or some other online editor. That's kind of a little bit different. So I'm going to use Cyberduck since I'm on a Mac. You can use whatever. Now I already have this bookmark saved. If you don't have your bookmark saved, go ahead and get that email with your account information and use that to create a bookmark. But I'm going to connect. So here is my website and you can see I'm in the www directory or um, you might have public underscore HTML directory. They're actually the same thing. And this is all of your information, every single file. And you can even uh, mod you can even sort it by when they were last modified. So you can see kind of like which files you've been working on recently. And the backup process is pretty simple. Go ahead and create a new folder on your desktop and give it a, a name and a date. I'm going to call it l and b.com backup. And then I'm going to put today's date. And then you highlight every single item. I'm going to click the bottom, hold shift, and then click the top, and it'll highlight everything in between. And I'm just going to drag it into that folder. With, uh, with FileZilla, it's very similar. Um, you just drag it out of the server side into the folder on your desktop. Um, or you can use that left panel that, uh, that it has, depending on how that works. So you can see I've put it in my little folder here. And that is your backup. So now you can do, you have a couple of options when you install WordPress. Um, if you want WordPress to be your main site, you may want to move all of this stuff into a little new, uh, I'm going to click up here so you can see, into a new folder. So you might call this um, learning. And then do the same thing. Click the bottom, hold shift, click the top. I'm ignoring CGI bin because there's nothing in it and I don't need it. And then drag it in there. So if you do this, then all of your site is now in learning and probably some of your links and source references will break because you've changed the location. But it's preserved in this subdirectory and the way to get to it would be um, your domain.com forward slash learning and then you get taken to your index but look at this this link will um, work because I made a relative link but you may find that some of your um, things break like this uh, the CSS is broken so this is no longer styled correctly because I'm going to show you the source my CSS looks for um, in the root directory styles styles.css but um, the root directory, this is the root directory, there is no styles folder. The styles folder is inside this learning folder. Your other option is to um, is to leave everything in the main directory and install WordPress in a separate directory. So it's up to you.